Hello lovelies and welcome to Cafe Nichette. Today we're doing Harry Biker's recipe of lamb tagine and couscous. Firstly turn on the oven at gas mark 4 equivalent and over a medium heat warm the oil in a tagine or a flame proof casserole saucepan and add the meat. Allow this to brown all over before adding the onions and garlic. Next, add the garlic and onions and cook for two to five minutes until lightly browned. As there is some liquid in the meat stew, add the spices set aside in a small pot and stir well. Make sure that uh, it's uh, coated well and we'll check the seasoning later. Now take the tagine off the heat and onto another hob and add the chopped tomatoes and water from the jug. This is personal preference. You can have 300 500 uh, milliliters of water depending on how much sauce you want in the tagine. Next, add the honey, and once you've put in your three tablespoons, you stir it well, even when you dip that tablespoon into the uh, tagine sauce. Make sure you get every last morsel of honey. And then you also add the chickpeas. You then put the tagine back on the heat and bring it to a simmering point, or a boiling point, but it should come to a simmering point when there are little bubbles coming through. It's the same for your flame-proof casserole saucepan as well. Next, crumble in the lamb stock cube, stir this well and add half of the chopped parsley and bring everything to a boiling point. Make sure you stir it a good few times. Give everything a good stir, making sure everything's been incorporated. And as you can see in the video, this is where you add the parsley. So it makes an incredible difference to have parsley with lamb in the stew, brings the, the, the taste to a different level. Bring to the boil and check the seasoning if it requires more salt or more spices. When it's coming to a boiling point, secure a lid on, on top of the tagine or with the, of the saucepan and transfer to the oven. Allow to cook for one hour.
After an hour, carefully remove the tagine or saucepan from the oven and carefully remove the lid. It's extremely hot. Add the apricots and the sweet potatoes and give everything a good stir. Secure the top back on again and return to the oven for another 45 to 60 minutes cooking until the meat is tender. Meanwhile, let's prepare the couscous. In a separate bowl, add salted hot water to the couscous and mix well. After you have mixed it well, add the oil and stir again. Allow the couscous to soak up the water for five minutes or so. And when you can see it on the video, you will see it will turn out, it will change in five minutes, looking uh, grainy and fluffy but not too fluffy and that will be the next step okay so have a pot steamer ready with a muslin cloth on the hob over a medium heat add the couscous after it's had its five minutes soaking and cover with the muslin cloth and lid allow to steam for 15 minutes or so this should come to a fluffy and more uh, better way of eating the couscous as it's more digestible to eat. Once ready, transfer the couscous to a serving dish and this is personal preference but you can add butter, margarine or oil of your choice. We like using margarine, especially flora buttery taste. You stir this through and then secure it with a lid so the butter or margarine or oil melts through the couscous. The lamb tagine should be ready now. Carefully take it out of the oven and put it straight on the serving table. Uh, carefully remove the lid and add the parsley and serve with couscous. To plate up, serve a spoonful or two of couscous, making a well on the plate in the middle and add the lamb tagine with its sauce as much as you like. I hope you like this video and uh, enjoy. Thanks for watching.